keep digging. There's gold in there. And I'm not talking about your nose, people. It says here, uh, Sace says something funny about that. Don't lie, Sace. You know you pick your nose. Everybody does it. Everything you want to achieve in life has a level, and then a next level, and a next level. You have to dig. Digging. We all know what that involves. Look at all the wonderful things that come from digging in one form or another. Diamonds. Nearly everyone on the planet knows what a diamond is. And nearly everyone either wants one or has one. Did you know that to produce one carat of diamonds, miners sift through approximately 200 to 250 tons of ore? The average size of a diamond coming out of a mine is only a tenth of a carat. And even then, only 20% of mine diamonds are gem quality. So we don't expect every diamond to be perfect, but we expect every piece of art we produce to be perfect. It doesn't work that way, people. You have to dig. Gold. One has to dig an average of 91 tons to gain one troy ounce of gold. Yep. That is a ton of digging for a small amount of bling. Gemstones. Again, all this digging for such tiny little sparkles. Treasure. Look at what Indiana Jones had to go through to get treasure. I mean, didn't he have to like, like walk through a whole box of snakes or something? I saw that movie. Talk about going deep. Hell no, I'm not doing that. Anything that is worth going after will require you to put on gloves and work it out. Oh, but you have talent. You have a God-given gift. You're such a natural. Bullshit. I'm totally calling the bullshit card on those statements. Sometimes I think people say those things to you about your success because they are too lazy to go after what they want themselves. It's true, people. Talent means nothing, while experience acquired in humility and hard work means everything. Quote from Patrick Seusskind. If you're six years old and can paint like Monet, then yes, God had something to do with that shit, and I for one am jealous. But if you've spent 35 years of your life or more practicing something, then it's yours to claim. It's not talent. If you want it bad enough, your follow through has to be greater than your want to. Let me say that one more time. If you want it bad enough, your follow through has to be greater than you want to. I wanted horses when I was a kid. My dad said I had to work to pay for half. Then I had to help build fence, buck bales, haul water, clean stalls, haul to the vet, pick hooves, lunge line, clean saddles, exercise, practice riding, practice showing, polish brass on the gear, etc. Do you get where I'm going with this? The want to or the buying of the horses was the easy part. The real work came after we got them. Thomas Edison said, opportunity is missed by most people because it is dressed in overalls and looks like hard work. You have to dig. And I mean post hole, pile driving, one scoop at a time, dig. You have to grind it out, one painting or one project at a time. You have to be willing to let the process stretch you challenge you, mock you, damn near break you in half in order to come out on the other side. Success is never owned, it is rented, and that rent is due every damn day. Pay up or shut up. Excuses are for chumps and I ain't no chump. It's just too hard. Don't be a sissy. Of course it's hard. It's supposed to be hard. If it was easy, everyone would do it. Hard is what makes it great. Hard is what makes it worth going after. Tell me I can't and I will prove to you that I can. Hard work is rewarded with respect. Isn't that what we're all looking for in this life? Love and respect. We want people to love our work and respect our drive and knowledge that led us to the place where we could create it. Everybody wants to be famous, but nobody wants to do the work. Live by that, people. You grind hard so you can play hard. At the end of the day, you put all the work in and eventually it will pay off. It could be next week, it could be next year, it could be 30 years from now, but eventually your hard work will pay off, but you have to dig. Success isn't always about greatness, it's about consistency. Consistent hard work leads to success. Greatness will follow. You have to dig.
Hard work without talent is a shame, but talent without hard work is a tragedy. You have to give. All life demands struggle. Those who have everything given to them become lazy, selfish, insensitive to the real values of life. The very striving and hard work that we consistently try to avoid. All life demands struggle. Those who have everything given to them become lazy, selfish, and sensitive to the real values of life. The very striving and hard work we consistently try to avoid is the major building block to the person we are today. Dig! Inspiration is one thing that is very challenging to control. I'll give you that. But hard work is what keeps your creativity moving forward. Good luck translates to work hard. You have got to dig. It takes a lot of unspectacular preparation to have spectacular results. Say it with me now. Roger Staubach is quoted as saying, it takes a lot of unspectacular preparation to have spectacular results. Did you hear that? It takes a lot of unspectacular preparation to have spectacular results. Dig. You have to find that special thing that distinguishes you from all of the others. Dig. Whatever you go into, you have to go in there to be the best. There are no formulas. It's about passion and honesty and hard work. It might look glamorous, but it took lots of hours and lots of hard work. The beauty of the arts is that you can do it for a lifetime. Dig. There is no such thing as instant gratification. Hard work often leads to success, but it is not every day. It is not every week. It will pay off at different times over the course of your career. You just have to grind it out daily. Dig, people, dig. The moment we believe that success is determined by an ingrained level of ability as opposed to the resilience and hard work, we become brittle in the face of adversity. Plans are only good intentions unless they immediately degenerate into hard work. Dig. You want to make it as an artist. You have to be willing to dig. Leave us a comment below and let us know that you're going to dig. Leave us a comment below and let us know what you plan to grind out. Leave us a comment below and let us know that you are digging. Head us up on Instagram and Twitter and show us pictures of what you've been grinding on. Dig, people. Dig. Faye says if you're grinding on a pole, we don't need to see pictures of that. <laughs> Dig. And we don't mean your underwear out of your butt crack.